who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart oh jesus i worship you i worship you you are a way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are a way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god my god that is who you are one last time you are a way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. There you go. Hey, man. All right. Well, great way to get us. That's a, a lo lovely song, Annie, and thank you so much for sharing it. Good morning, everybody, and happy St. Patrick's Day, and it's great to see everyone here and um, it's always great to get together and worship and today's a super special day for lots of reasons it is the day that the lord has made and it is the day that we gather as a, as a family of christ and we have um i wanted to just point out that armin is uh with karen today and armin is a, a beloved friend of of many of us um, who we came to know in our work up in, in Greenfield. And uh, he is the shepherd for many people and has a great story, but uh, as we all do. Um, but good morning and may peace be with you. And let us, uh, a couple of things. One is we are, um, we are actually on live on Facebook. So we want to be careful to make sure we're keeping names relatively anonymous and and people's diagnosis and whatnot so but we will be sharing a lot about things today so uh, we just want to be safe um, and let us open as we tend to want to do in a, a prayer and so friends let us pray glorious and all loving god mother of all mothers and father of all fathers this community this Faithways community gathers today to worship you, to acknowledge your works, seek your guidance, and bask in the blessings of your universe. Open our hearts, O oh God, and minds today as we learn new ways of relating to one another. We ask that you shepherd us into greater understanding of how our lives can be used to promote compassion and justice and human love. All glory to God. Amen. And God bless you all, friends. Again, it's great Amen. to see everyone. Yeah. We, uh, I wanted to just share a little bit different affirmation than we normally do. And it goes like this. Let us celebrate our diversity and trust that each of us is the beloved child of God created in God's own image. Let us seek to follow Jesus Christ's teachings for humanity and include all people into the life, community, and fellowship of this Faithways gathering. Let us openly support full participation in this gathering from pe persons of every race, ethnicity, faith background, language, age, gender identity, and expression 
sexual orientation, physical or mental ability, and economic or marital status. Let us affirm and celebrate all loving and committed relationships, and let us extend to all God's extravagant welcome. Amen. And it's just a reminder to everyone of the importance of affirmation for all, the importance of inclusion, radical inclusion it's sometimes called. So peace be with you all. And I see others have joined Dio and Jan and Shana and Pat. Good to see you, Pat and Andrew and Joseph and Deb. And uh, it's great to see everyone, Noreen and Mom and Anita and John. Debbie, Debbie got on early to keep us going, keep us on the straight and narrow here. And of course, Armin and Karen, good morning. Um, John Humphrey has outdone himself with his <laughs> sacred space. And John, I offer you to uh, tell us about it today. Sorry. Oh, I'm unmuted. There we go. <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Um, the sacred space today uh, is meaningful in that um, uh, it has been a beautiful couple of days out here in the Northwest. It's allowed me and and other uh, avid gardeners to get out in the gardens and start cleaning up and preparing and and uh, doing all sorts of good stuff in the yard. And and I had these bulbs, uh, and they are. Um, uh, they are oriental lily bulbs kind of in the background uh, that are just beautiful and, and, and their scent is magnificent. And then in the front is something called Byzantine gladiolas, which aren't really gladiolas, but they're, uh, but they're, they're beautiful, beautiful flower. And it dawned on me that uh, when you plant these in the ground, uh, every, every, uh, every spring they'll come up and they'll be beautiful. And then in the fall and the winter, they go, they die all the way back down and, and, and uh, regain their energy during winter so that they can uh, rebloom, regrow in the, in the springtime and, and start all over again. And, um, and it, it dawned on me that we kind of get to do that every day. We get to, have an opportunity to uh, to be born again and to rise again and to try to uh, try to um, just uh, exude the beauty that that we have and and um, and I just thought the idea of of getting to try to get it right every day that you wake up and and today we're going to try to get it right um, that just kind of filled my heart a little bit just like those bulbs are. Every every year they 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 try to wake up and and uh, from the darkness and and try to get it right and try to create beauty for others. So that was uh, kind of my thinking behind all that. Thanks very much. Thank you, John. And it's 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 meaningful and beautiful. And I, I don't know if you uh, caught it, but the uh, cross there is a Celtic cross, and how appropriate for St. Patty's Day. Uh, so friends, uh, again, good morning. And we do have time to share uh, and what's been going on. What's, I was away last week, um, so I missed you all. And so tell me what's going on. Uh, raise your hand if you want to share. I can tell you that I was with my um, sister and her husband in Tucson. Lori gets on on occasion and uh, we went from spending some time with my daughter to spending time with my sister and it was a really good chance to just turn everything off and not not be working and not <laughs> so it felt very luxurious but anybody else yeah Karen so I can say that all of our prayers um, the last couple of weeks for our young man that we're helping out at work have just absolutely been heard in spades we've had um so he's made some amazing progress and getting him sort of back on his feet and the whole entire community of staff have really rallied around him as 
um, kind of just this giant extended family to help this young man um, become, you know, part kind of part of the world again. And and I, it just is amazing every day. And just have had some great conversations and seeing him come alive and bloom has been spectacular. So thank you for your continued prayers on his behalf. Amen. Lift that up. Anybody else? Let's see. Uh, Jan and then Dio. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm unpacking groceries. We have the kids today. And it's the first time in 13 years that we're having a sleepover, right, with the grandkids. <laughs> so uh, Calvin, our grandson, who's eight, eats nothing but chicken nuggets right so i didn't get chicken nuggets i'm like okay what can i cook what can i cook and we we uh decided on okay steak so i go to the store this morning thinking how am i going to afford steak for everybody all the steaks were on sale it was totally a blessing so i got all this great produce and all this great stuff on sale which is a miracle and um phil's helping me unpack there's phil <laughs> um but yesterday or two days ago i went and had my phone fixed and they had to wash my phone clean and then they had to reinsert my everything and yesterday i spent from 10 in the morning till six at night with phone problems and hackers i mean i literally spent like an hour and a half with hackers on the phone trying to hack me and get it to my account what I, seriously Holy shit. and then i had to um oh go to bank of america and cancel all my cards and get all new cards and do that whole ordeal and at six o'clock I was just like oh my god all because Facebook wasn't working right and my lifeline to most people in my life is through Facebook and I didn't want to lose all my precious memories you know because memories are so beautiful so anyhow it all got sorted finally and the woman at the bank gave me a credit card in my digital wallet which i of course never knew about so i got to go to the store today with my cell phone and pay my groceries with my cell phone i mean to me that's just a miracle of all miracles that i made it through that and i look and i wonder like why did i call that on what was i doing yesterday to have me go through so much struggle and the day before it was ecstatic at 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 the apple store with artists and beauty and i was flying on a high and the next day lower than low so i'm just riding the waves and thanking god that you know we got a brand new day and the grandkids are coming amen amen deal many blessings to everybody so glad to see you all um I would just like to start off with just thanking God for just the simpler things, being able to just be alive, just having food and water, um, having people to love and, you know, and vice versa. Because sometimes we forget about the simple things of just walking and talking and be able to do the everyday things that we do, because there are some people out there who are not able to do those things. So why I'm able to say that, I would like to just thank God for those. But also, I would like to thank God for my grandson, who, who turned 11 years old on the 15th. And it's just a joy and a blessing to see him manifest into this awesome young man. Um, and it just looking at him every day is just, I'm just in awe. And I just really thank God for him because it makes me want to be a better person to show him how life really is. It doesn't always have to be negative to learn for those negative things, to be stronger and positive, to have this faith community that's a family of mine, that extension that just reached out and was like, oh, tell Dio, you know, happy birthday. And he was like, wow, how did they know they remembered? And I'm like, yes, and it just warmed his heart. And I just think it's great that we can build this young man up to be um, who he's going to become in the future. Amen. Amen. I 
think uh, it would be appropriate for us to sing happy birthday. I'll, I'll lead us off. And Dio, by the way, I hope, hope we're helping you, but I guarantee you you're helping us. <laughs> Let's let it be. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Should have let him. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. You are awesome. Thank you all and blessings. All right, Joseph. Sorry, Lance. I didn't see that message. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, everything. Um, it's really great to be here, and uh, the sunshine certainly helps. I am uh, making progress on my injuries with MRIs and doctor's visits, and um, just like Dio said, you know, I just gotta you gotta stay in that place of gratitude, even if you don't feel like it. You have to get up and say um, thank you for the warm, safe place to sleep, fresh food to eat, clean clothes to wear, the love in my heart, love all around me, friends and family all around me. That's what I do. That's my little mantra of gratitude. That whenever I'm feeling low. Or whatever I'm feeling like I don't have enough, I have to remember that I, I, I have enough and I am enough. I am. Amen. Thank you, Joseph. And so, friends, we have a song from Andrew. We, we, we're all going to have another chance for sharing. I want to remind you all, because I like to say this, that even though we're muted, if you do have something you're compelled to say, we invite you to raise your hand or you can use the little hand emoji and we'll get to you. So we definitely don't want to not hear from you. And we'll have another chance to share after our wonderful sermon today. And Andrew, take it away, brother. Awesome. Thanks, Lance. Uh, happy Sunday, everybody, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is one of my favorite Irish or Celtic songs, uh, Oh Danny Boy, that I'm going to share. the music thank you so much and friends is uh our I, I just think that uh for this is our uh words of assurance and i took it upon myself to just jot a few notes down because I, what i know is that the season is upon us where we're going to be we're going to hear and we'll be asked to decide upon our leadership we will hear uh, about it in a non-stop fashion Unless you really try hard not to hear it, you're going to hear it. And we'll be asked to choose a side, and we'll be asked to help the ones, we, we might be asked anyway, to help the ones we choose. And we'll be asked to take a side and stand with that side. And fear and foreboding will likely follow closely behind. And this may yeah. seem to us to be an opportunity for change or the potential end of that which we feel we have stood upon. So the task may seem daunting, but I'm here to tell you, friends, that our leader, the one who will show us the right way, the right path, the one who will shield and protect us, the one who has suffered even greater than we have suffered, the one who lived righteously 
and died unjustly and horrendously, yet rose victorious over death to take our hands and lead us onward. As prophesied by the prophet Isaiah, who said, a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and authority over all will be upon his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. That is who we are to follow. All else for not. Amen. And God bless you. And so uh, I'm going to read our scripture. And Rob is going to give us our presentation today. There's two pieces to the scripture. The first is from the beginning of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. And from the Gospel of Matthew, it says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May it be so. Peace be with you all. And Rob, I turn it over to you. Hey, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Dio has a request to do a song first. Oh. He must, he must, he must be feeling moved. So I want to honor that. <laughs> if that's okay. Many that's blessings. Cool. Um, I would love to play this song before your your sermon, and I hope that it brings us in that spirit, in that peace that uh, we can receive all the wonderful things you have for us. You were the word at the beginning, one with God the Lord most. High. The hidden glory in creation God revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. He didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus brought heaven down. The sin was greater, the love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Dio. Thank you. Beautiful as always. Beautiful as always. <laughs> Would you join me in prayer and uh, and pray for me as well? Holy Spirit, 
please guide my words, my thoughts, and uh, my mind and my soul as I give the message to my brothers and sisters here. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, I was humbled before. <laughs> now after Dio's song, I'm even more humbled. So um, um, I had when I brought this up to Karen a couple of weeks ago, I was kind of reluctant, resistant. I was like, I think people are tired of hearing about repentance. <laughs> you know, are we are we are we there yet? Are we there yet? But we thought this might be a good message going into um, the backstretch, the home stretch towards Easter. So what this is, is just my journey on repentance and hopefully no preaching. Um, so sit back and I, I appreciate your grace. Um, <clears throat> I would present a thought experiment, though. Uh, we hear about in the gospel the good news, and actually gospel is um, uh, interpreted as the good news, um, what does that mean to you? And so just have that in the back of your mind. All right, so here's my story. <clears throat> so I'm driving down the road one day on my way to work, and a uh, typical day, and I turn the corner onto one of my side streets, and I see about 300 yards up, um, a crow picking at some roadkill and I um, thought well okay that's interesting I'm sure it'll fly off before I get there and um, what's really interesting is that I even had these thoughts about a crow picking at roadkill as I'm getting closer I'm thinking I'm pretty sure it's gonna move and it did not fly off until I was virtually over <laughs> on top of that crow and I thought that was interesting and then now this is going to be weird y'all so but I heard in my head that's what sin does and I was like oh where now I'm mainline protestant I don't wake up in the morning thinking about sin so this 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 was not anywhere near the top of my mind so you would think i would be like oh wow i gotta reflect on this and i said all right that was weird i'll have to come back to that <laughs> so i did not pull the car to the side of the road and get on my knees i go to work go through my day as normal um don't even really pay much attention to what had happened um but then i noticed like it was coming up in TV shows I was watching. It was coming up in very little aspects, different aspects of my life. And you know how God works. <laughs> God just like finds different ways to nudge you. And um, one time I was driving someone home from uh, my street ministry in Worcester. And this was a young woman. And she says, Rob says, my pastor says that, the wages of sin is death. Is that true? Wow. You want to talk about a wake-up call, <laughs> especially as a pastor. And also I heard, you know, in my head kind of like, yeah, Rob, what, what do you think of that? So I felt like it was, you know, I responded adequately as a pastor. Um, but it was really kind of like that last thing that said, you need to be taking this thing seriously. I am calling you to repentance. Um, but I couldn't get there. I did not feel penitent. Like I said, I'm mainline Protestant. You know, we don't, <laughs> I'm a good boy for the most part. So, <clears throat> but I even went to my pastor and I said, I can't, I can't go to Ash Wednesday. And she was like, why not? I said, I don't feel penitent. I, how can I go to Ash Wednesday when I don't feel penitent? She was like, well, we offer the words, you know, with God's help and stuff like that. I was like, all right, fine. I'll take the easy road. Anyway, I still struggled with it. And I had decided to go to a, a healing prayer service to just get prayers to help me get over this hurdle so I could finally um 
you know, get on my knees in repentance. And I learned about um, the Puritans um, had a term gift of tears, uh, where you can where you actually feel um, that those emotions required to to feel penitent. Anyhow, so I'm at this healing prayer service and I'm waiting for prayer ministers to be available. I'm standing at the back of the church and the narthex actually has a it's, it's a wall of glass looking out to a beautiful garden. And most appropriately today, huge, like 10 foot tall brass Celtic cross. And I'm staring at the cross and I'm just kind of contemplating it. And I heard that voice saying, you don't need the prayer ministers. Like, what? You don't need them. Turn around. Turn around. So I turned around. And of course, hanging over the altar is this big, beautiful cross. And it said, go. I said, go? You want me to walk up the middle of that church with all these people looking at me, wondering what the heck I'm doing? You want me to just walk up there? Go. So I went, I got up to that altar. It was a, a kneeling altar, you know, semicircle um, Methodist altar. <laughs> um, so I'd sneak off to the side of the kneeling rail so no one will see me. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I got down. I wasn't even on my knee. I started to bend on one knee. And you can see how much this affects me 12 years later. <clears throat> I started bawling like a little baby. I just wept and wept and wept. And just, I don't even know what I said or thought or prayed. I think I was just praying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, help me, whatever. I don't know. But I, it just released. It just all released. And um, so that's my my journey to repentance. And I feel like, um, so I do want to say, I started to, um, <clears throat> I was going to open my qualifier for this saying, um, I was a sinner. I am a sinner. I will probably always be a sinner. But I want to, I, <laughs> the spirit told me this morning, say, no, 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 no. We're going to change that, dude. <laughs> change that to, I sinned, I sin, I will sin, but I am a child of the most holy, most merciful, and most awesomest God. And I want to tell you, through all that time that I was being called to repentance, never that I can recall did I feel one element, one iota of condemnation. All I just kept feeling was love and blessings and prompting and lots of it. I was showered in love and blessings through that whole time. Now, repentance is not a one one shot deal, like get it over with and you're done. Um, the Holy Spirit still continues to call me to my knees on a regular basis. I sin every day <laughs> and the spirit does not hesitate to remind me. But instead of taking years to get on my knees, there may be a little bit of pushback, but usually I do it and I do it with gratitude. Because why with gratitude? Because I remember that it was Jesus on the cross and he provided me this way out from carrying the burdens of sin. That's why I love that scripture, come ye all you burdens with all your burdens. A lot of people commentate um, commentaries say that he's referring to the burdens of sin that we carry. We're not meant to carry that. That's why he went to the cross, so that he would carry it. Because uh, it's out of love, not condemnation. And that's why the scriptures I chose, you, I don't know if you've all figured it out, but I'm weird. So <laughs> those aren't typical Lenten scriptures, I don't think. But I wanted to leave you with a reminder of the good news that Christ died. He went to the cross so that we don't have to carry our burdens of sin. And I was reminded this morning of um, 
the Balm of Gilead. Some of you may know that hymn. Um, I haven't actually thought of it in a while, but it it goes, it starts off like this. Um, <clears throat> this is, um, this is actually, a, uh, there is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There's power enough in heaven to cure a sin-sick soul. So Jesus is the bomb of Gilead. And I do know that my opening up, my final ability to get on my knees was vital to healing through the darkness. And um, that darkness just eventually just went away. Um, and admittedly, I have a lot of trouble going through Lent or a little trouble, not a lot. Because one of my favorite sayings is, I've stopped living the crucifixion. I'm living the resurrection. So on that, amen, amen. Back at you, Karen? Yeah, thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. Um, I I think we're all going to, it's so much to take in. And I think while we do that, um, I'm going to ask one of our musicians for a song so that uh, we have that chance. Andrew? Uh, great message, Rob. Thank you. Uh, the whole time this, this song, uh, since I laid my burdens down, is all I could think of. So here we go. Thank you so much to all our musicians. That was amazing. It was a great way to put a final note on that um, that sermon. It was a perfect song. So I just wanted to continue and have everybody, um, just want to also welcome everybody here today. Um, I'm here with Armin down in Greenfield, and um, I'm loving seeing a few of our Greenfield faces there, and we're delighted to actually be together in community again. So as we gather here in community, uh, I just would like to ask anybody 
they want to put out prayers. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm not in a position to write them down. So I'm going to ask everyone to, as they the prayer is said, to themselves say, Lord, hear my prayer. Okay? And then I'll do a closing prayer at the end. So if folks could go ahead and lift up the prayer that they would like to lift up. Just raise your hand and, I, and I'll call on you. Do we have one? We need prayers for Jim for peace with his cancer. This is uh, Lance's cousin, I believe, Jim. So we'll keep him in our continued prayers. Anybody else? Jan? That's funny. I was trying to write a text to you guys. Yeah, for my um, sweet Liana, she's in the stage of looking for some kind of therapeutic support and to, for her to find the right people to help her through this crazy, crazy moment she's having and for Phil's continued health. And thank you guys for praying for us for so long. Lord, hear our prayer. And continued prayers for Brian. <clears throat> in his reentry into into being part of a community. Lord, hear our prayer. Anybody else? Noreen, and then Rob. Noreen, you want to unmute? There. OK, you can hear me? Yeah. OK. Um, so yeah, prayers for, um, I'm having a complete hip replacement in two weeks. Um, so just, I guess just prayers. I had one done five months ago. So I've just been in pain for five months and now my knees and back are getting kind of screwed up and I've been out of work. So I don't, you know, I, I haven't had my regular income coming in. So it's just been very stressful and I can't do much of anything because I can barely walk. So yeah, so just some prayers for that would be very much appreciated. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Anyone else? Rob. Yes, um, I've just got a, um, several friends that are just really going through real trying times. Um, one is going through you know, struggling with faith in, in God. And um, yeah, so I'm just lis lifting up a handful of friends in my circle. Uh, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Debbie, did you have your hand up? No. Christina? Christina Weevil? Can you hear me? Oh, other Christina. Yep. Okay. Did you have a prayer to lift up? I do. Go ahead. Yes. Prayers for all my friends that are struggling. Marie with her hips, Jen. Of course, with Farm and Liana. And for Ted and I, for we are struggling deeply to... Uh, decide what to do with our relationship and it's just been very very trying we're in a separation mode right now so uh, i'm having a really difficult time with it but anyway any prayers for uh help with that relationship thank you all lord hear our prayer anyone else All right, as we all close and gather together in prayer, Lord, hear all of the prayers that have went out to you from our hearts, from our lips, from our minds. Lord, we know that you hear those prayers that are said as well as those that are unsaid. We lift up this entire community and indeed this entire world, this broken world that we live in and leave it into your hands for care. We ask that you enfold it with your love and imbue it with the healing that only you can bring. In Jesus' name, amen. 
So I'd like to okay. sneak in another song here if we can before I move on to communion. Uh, Joseph, are you up? You yeah, let's do a, let's do a fun let's do a fun one. All right. Not that um, not that our traditional ministry songs are not fun. Of course, uh, I want to take this opportunity to say uh, bonjour, Armand. Como ça va? Ça va bien. Armand, I'm looking at you, baby. I love you. I just want to say hello, Armand. It's so beautiful to see you again. I love you. I love you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What a treat. So I like to do a song for St. Patrick's Day. A fun. This is a song. Actually, Rob, this is good. This goes with the sermon. This is a song about repentance. Now, everyone, if you don't know this, if you don't know this song, uh, it's called The Wild Rover. And then there's an audience participation part in the chorus. And now uh, it's no, nay, never. And then we all go. No, nay, never, no more. So you'll you'll pick it up when I do it. Well, I've been a wild rover for many's the year. And I've spent all me money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great store. And I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild rover no no more. Well, I went to an alehouse I used to frequent, and I told the landlady my money was spent, and I asked her for credit. She answered me, nay, such a custom as yours I can have any a day, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild rover no no more. I'll go home to my parents and confess what I've done. And I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son. And when they've caressed me, as oft times before, I promise I'll never play the wild rover no more. And it's no nay, never. No nay, never, no more. I play the wild rover. No, never, no more. And it's no, never. No, never, no more. Well, I play the wild rover. No, never, no more. Thank you, Joseph. That's a great, joyous song to move us into a joyous well, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a religious song, too, since it has the phrase prodigal son in it. Uh, there you go. There you go. Biblical well, I song. think <laughs> it's a great song to move us into community together as we we all gather with our communion elements. So it doesn't matter what you have, whether it's water or ale or wine. Yeah. Um, but if you want to go ahead and gather what you have, we'll come to our time of communion. So remember that as a time of communion at the Last Supper, Jesus gathered his community, just like we gather here. And he talked about what it takes to be community, just as we've talked here about community. And he took his bread and he took his wine and he blessed them. He asked for God's blessing. And when he asked for God's blessing, he asked that for his whole broken world, just as we're asking for that. And he took the bread, and after he blessed it, he broke it. And he said, take, eat. This is my body that was given for you. And when you eat, do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, after he broke the bread, he took the cup of life and he said, take and drink all of you. Drink of this cup of life, of all of the joy and the celebration that comes with it, 
this is our cup of life that we use to celebrate the life that Jesus had. And he took the cup and he blessed it and he said, take and drink. And when you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And when he finished, he celebrated, he celebrated that last meal with his friends and with his community, just as we celebrate here, all of us today at Faithways. So gather with me in prayer, Lord, thank you for this time of sharing, of being with community, of helping us to know that we can support each other as well as support the broken parts of our world. Help us to be your hands and your feet, mending what needs to be mend, mended, being able to be there for folks in need. And help us also to celebrate those times when we know that you're in our life or when we see you around us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we move to our time of offering and just remember that this day you come before all of the rest of us as the offering. And so I just want you to remember that and keep it in your hearts. For those of you who so feel moved, we do have the ability for you to donate online. If you'd like to do that, reminder that all of the money that we collect this this month goes towards um, reobtaining a car for Dio's daughter to help her get back on her feet, traveling back and forth and helping young Dio get back and forth. And so we pray that that will, do, will be enough. And we know that in God's mercy, it will be enough to achieve what needs to be done. And so if all of you want to unmute, we're going to do our messy Lord's prayer. <coughs> I'll start it off with this. Our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father thy name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom, thy kingdom, thy will be done, thy will be done, as we forgive those who trespass, not to temptation, lead us not into temptation, and for us to be the Lord, and for us to be the Lord, and for us to be the Amen. All right. Thank, thank you, friends. And uh, Rob, thank you so much for your message today and our wonderful music. Uh, we do have, uh, I believe, Annie... Oh, Annie's disappeared on us. So uh, we have time for one more song and we'll we'll do, why don't we do our um, benediction and then we'll do our song just because we're getting closing in. Is it, who wants to do a song? We actually have time for, Dan, did you want to do a song? All right. I'm going to, can you unmute if you want to do the song? I mean, you had it for a second there, Dan. Can you hear? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're muted again. <laughs> Technology. There you go. Dan, we can hear oh, you. Okay. I'm unmuted. Yes. No, you're going to do your benediction first. Sir. Yeah, I'll do the benediction. May the road rise to meet you. Oh. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. God bless you all. And I can't wait to see you next week. Blessings to all. And after our song, uh, we have some time to share. And uh, so go ahead, Daniel, bring it on. When upon myself 
In times of trouble, Mother Mary comforts me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in our hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Lord, let it be. Love will be our answer. Let it be. And when the broken hearted people living in God's world agree, that will be our answer. Let it be. And though we're all divided, there is still a light. Lord, let it shine on me. Shine until tomorrow. Lord, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be, Lord, let it be. Shine until tomorrow. Lord, let it be. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. And for those who don't know, Daniel will be in Western Mass in the next few weeks or so. God willing. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be leaving here no later than Tuesday, hopefully. I got to spend a couple of days in D.C. Good thing is brewing there for the brothers and sisters of humanity anyway. <laughs> not, the, not necessarily the government. But anyhow, uh, I will be there for Palm Sunday weekend. I will be there no later than Thursday for Friday, to be there for Friday the weekend. Then I'm off to Boston uh, for a day or two, back to Washington for a day, and home for Easter. <laughs> but I'll be back up in May. We'll set up some uh, events. All right. Hey, Christina, how did it go today at uh, the church for you? It was a wonderful service today. We talked about getting ready for Resurrection Sunday, which is Easter Sunday. And that's yeah. what we're calling it, Resurrection Sunday. So I was glad to join and hear that. <laughs> um, also, this week was the Vintage Bible Study, which was being taught by the teenagers here at Leesburg High School. And it was three days of different activities, worship, praying and bridging the gap between the young and the old or older whichever you want to call it <laughs> but it was it was it was something that i i never thought i'd ever experience in my life and the last day some of the teenagers got up on stage and sang and prayed for us in in their songs it was awesome it was just awesome <laughs> that was uh, well, everyone, was uh, it's great to see everyone today and armin uh what a treat and karen thanks for making that happen um and of course armin you're invited every week i hope you know that and um but it's good to see everybody and i'm sorry if anybody didn't get a chance to uh speak but you, now's your time we'll uh everyone's invited to unmute and we can uh, do our i have to say Let's... one more thing though Oh. I shared the pictures from the Vintage Bible Study on my Facebook page. There's over 200 pictures, but if you want to go and check it out, Lance, it's on my page. You, I'm going to go. I will see you all next week. Yeah. All right. Christina, Christina, send send Serenity me a Facebook. Christina, send me a Facebook. We're going to go ahead and sign off now. So I just wanted to say goodbye to everybody. Bye, 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 Karen. Bye, Bye. And Christina, care. Uh, feel free to give me a call if you just if you want to talk at any time. Uh, what was your question, Jan? Send me a Facebook friend request. <laughs> uh, you can send me one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> under my name, under my name, which is okay. Christina Bible. Okay. Oh, my new Facebook is under Daniel Evans. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, we have a new face. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, yeah. Everyone looks great today. Mom, you have your other church to go to now, so. And I'm getting ready to go to my other church and pray for all of you. <laughs> Thank you. Did you guys all welcome Noreen, our new member today? Yes. Hey. Hey. Yay. Hey. Christina welcome. Kerr invited her. And I'm sure you'll be right. back, Noreen, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Bless. And, and uh, yeah. Uh, prayers for healing and, and for Christina as well. For all of us, really, right? right. Yeah, all of us. For all of us. All uh, of us. God bless yes. everybody. So, Mom, pray for us non Methodists, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, not, we're not. When we're you get to be my age, you can be a little of everything. When we come Amen. to the we're uh, ecumenical. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You're Good all in the grandkids. Okay. Bye, well, everybody. Have a good day, I have to go Bye. before they lock me into the church. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Love everybody.